folks. It's me again. Uh, what am I doing? <clears throat> I'm sitting in my garage playing with carburetors. I made a video of taking apart the other one, so now I don't have to take this one apart because I already know it's in it. But I um, I noticed I found the other one on the floor, so I'm going to play with this one. And I'm just going to clean the outside off, so if you want to watch me clean it off, eh, I'll make a short video. Just see what I'm, I got a little, uh, I got a shitty wire brush. I have a old toothbrush. That's why if you, uh, your kids throw you two brushes and they're still good, you just kind of take them and use them in the garage. And I have the hair gun. The hair dryer. Yeah. Okay. Stay tuned. Watch me. Watch what I'm doing because I got a carb here. Carb or rock hard. There we go. First thing I'll do is take this off the air hose. I lost this thing in the garage. It was on the floor. So I'm going to go like this. Yeah. corn in the car. <coughs> What's the difference between this one and oh. <coughs> this thing off yet. We hear a hissing now. Yep, it's gonna have a hissy fit. Leaks. So if I clean this off. All the little carb pieces here. It's pretty crusty, this thing. Where is this one from? This is from the bike outside. So. It looks pretty crummy. There's a lot of damn hoses on this thing. I often wonder, like, does it need all these hoses? I was told uh, that it does. This is still on there. Okay, that one. This wire goes. Okay, that was kind of. That was a carp cable. This is. It's missing that piece. See, there's a lot of little things that if you if you have the regular carb, you don't know are missing. Up pretty clean though, if you get in the space. See the difference between this one. I don't know if you can see in there. Can you see that versus this one? This one's immaculate, like seriously immaculate. Now, how do I? How do I spin that damn thing? Let's see. open there. Okay, that's original. The inside of this is in, the inside of this one is in excellent shape. It's really good shape. Because this carburetor, I'm obviously missing that cable. There's a hose that goes to the top to this way, which I've never seen before. This hose, I, I don't know if I lopped it off or it's just part of it. <coughs> There's a hose that connects on a little piece over here and over here that are missing. Just freaking it off here. This is the, obviously, I think, throttle cable. 
This is not bent, but it has a rusty spring, so. This is super shiny. This is all ringy ding ding, which is that's fine. It can easily be cleaned up. This little thing is rusty or corroded. It's another key in Japan one. So these screws are original. The hose is not on. Top plate's dirty, obviously. And this side. This must have been rebuilt because this one is re. This one's crunchy in there. This one is super, super clean in there. All of the uh, brass and little metal parts are perfectly clean. So, I don't know. If all you hear is a hissing in this video, it's because this stupid damn thing just keeps hissing. Let me turn it off. I, now I realize that <coughs> if I do want to clean this thing, this is not going to cut it. Like. I need a really tiny one like this because if I don't want to take it apart I just want to clean it off like this I would assume that an ultrasonic cleaner would obviously be a hell of a lot better if I just want to do this it works it doesn't help the brushes are a little frayed what's that uh, song? the frayed ends of sanity do 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 Should I open it up? Right, let's, op let's open the box up here and see what's in it. This bike was sitting outside for several years. I got it. Apparently it was in a, a shipping container. And that's why it's so rusty. And it was only the back end was rusty. The front was like, meh, moderate rust. I figured why not take care of all the rust and deal with it. Let's take this off here. Come on. Let's screw around here. At least I know I should buy a... They always say complete car, but where do you get these little pieces? Like, do I have to fabricate another one? Like, hoses are obviously hoses. These I can clean up and polish. No big deal. Or get some new, uh, new screws. Because these ones suck. Let's see. Let's see the inside. Yeah, about the same level of crudness, I guess. It's got a lot of oomph in there. really sealed up that great. So yeah. Not terrible. Not too terrible. Not great, but not great. Come on, screwdriver. Get on there. Whee! So, I'm gonna send this out to get fixed. We'll see how it goes. I gotta, actually I gotta, in a few minutes I gotta call the sandblasting place and uh, see what they say. <coughs> anyway, let me turn it right off. Anyway, I got chap lips. It's cold out here. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and fling the button. Ta -da! And um, stay tuned. I'm just me doing my thing. And whenever I feel like recording it, I record it. So playing with toys, playing with grinders, all that kind of stuff. So thanks for watching, toodles. And um, eh, it's a low-carb diet, man. Low-carb diet. Thanks for watching.